come, Holy Spirit, and give us the grace to contemplate the pain and suffering of our Saviour on this his way to Calvary. Come, Lord Jesus, and speak unto our hearts as we follow in these your sacred prints. Up to Calvary, where you will redeem us and save our souls from the pit of hell. The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. As we behold the Saviour, we see how he is calm and dignified before Pilate who behaves as his judge and his superior, whereas Christ himself is the superior, the judge of every soul that has issued from his command and his wisdom. Lord Jesus, grant that we may be like you in this your dignity and in your quiet silence, in full possession of ourselves, not insisting here on earth on our own dignity and what is our due, as regards our rights and our glory. For if we belong to you, it is sufficient that we be pleasing to you alone. At the cross her station keeping stone the mournful second station, we see the cross being placed upon the shoulder of our Saviour. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Lord Jesus, we thank you for accepting this cross upon your shoulders. Thank you for taking upon yourself the burden of our sin. We thank you for coming to the rescue of mankind. You are our King, and it is our own sins that weigh upon your shoulder. Give us true contrition for those sins. Give us a firm a purpose of amendment that will not allow us to offend your sacred heart again, but to be aware that we are the cause of your pain, and still are every time we offend you. Through her heart his sorrow sharing, all his bitter anguish bearing, now at length the sword has passed. In the third station, we see the Lord falling to the ground for the first time. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Lord Jesus, give us to understand that what is serious above all is remaining on the ground, and not getting up again immediately, remaining in a state of coldness of heart, of unresponsiveness to your divine pulls and your actual graces, time wasted away from you, time without merit, time without intimacy and joy. Give us, Lord Jesus, this grace to rise immediately from our faults and to run back to your arms, begging for forgiveness. Oh, how sad and so distressed was 
house that Mother highly placed of the so begotten In the fourth station, we behold the mother and the son. We behold the encounter between Jesus and his holy mother and the pain that wounded both hearts. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Grant, Lord Jesus, that we may have a tender devotion to the Immaculate Heart of your Mother, aware of its pain not only in the time that she spent with you on this way of the cross, but also in heaven where she sees all the sins of the world, including our own. Grant that we may make due reparation to her Immaculate Heart and at the same time to your own Sacred Heart. Grant that we may be consolers of these hearts, and not those who cause further pain yet again. Grant that we may be tender of heart, and able to console all those that we meet on our way of the cross here below, and never cause pain, but always understanding and healing. Christ above in torment hangs, she beneath beholds the things of her dying glorious Son. The fifth station, we see Simon of Cyrene pressed into service to carry the cross. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. As we observe this unexpected scene, we see how grace is operative even in the most unexpected of circumstances here on earth in general. Grant, Lord Jesus, that as this man was touched out of the cause of compulsion into a state of grace and healing by contact with this cross, grant that we similarly may be brought into contact with divine grace wherever it is available and take every opportunity offered by your divine providence to encounter you and to draw closer to you. Grant that we may never waste a single grace. Grant also that we may be instruments of grace to all those around us and instruments of your providence in touching their hearts, that they too may be changed from compulsion to voluntary service of your glory. Is there one who would not weep when in misery so deep Christ, dear Mother, to be found? In the sixth station, we see Veronica wiping the face of Jesus. Lord Jesus, you accepted this act of tenderness, characteristic of holy women, who throughout the centuries have wiped your face in the person of the poor and the suffering, but also directly at the foot of the altar, consoling you with long hours of adoration. Grant that we may be souls that give you comfort, both in the sacramental sphere and also in your presence in others especially those hurting most, that we will be able to pick up their pain and enter into the realms of the heart where you alone wish to heal and sometimes wish to use us 
as part of that healing. Can the human heart refrain from partaking in her pain? In that mother's pain and turns. In the seventh station, we see the Lord falling the second time to the ground. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. Because by the holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Lord Jesus, every time we consent to sin, we cause pain to your sacred heart once again. We impede the operation of your divine grace. We lose intimacy with you. We give bad example often, and we lose the merits that you had wanted to give us, we ask that we will be aware of the gravity of every sin to which we consent and which is ultimately a victory for the enemy of our soul, that we may not fall, and if we ever do, that we may not stay on the ground, but indeed that we will be able to use even our failures to love you more by coming back to you, asking for pardon, and being more and more aware of our littleness, and thereby gaining in self-knowledge and authentic humility. Rose dear and cast defiled, she beheld her tender child, all with a bloody scourges In the eighth station, we see the Lord consoling the holy women. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Women of Jerusalem, weep not for me but for yourselves and for your children. Once again, you accept this goodwill of the holy women of Jerusalem, and you address this word to all women throughout the ages. Much pain is brought upon humanity by its own hand. Grant, Lord, that we may not be responsible for the harm that is coming to us, but may be aware that all that happens, happens through a permission from on high. Grant, Lord, that we may not merit in vain, but that we may always use all the pain, all the merit possible to the events that come to us, that we may be always able to draw good from evil, joy from sorrow, knowing that all shall be well, all shall be well, and all manner of things shall be well, for all has been foreseen, and all is ultimately for our good. For the sins of his own nation saw him hang in desolation, till his spirit falls he sent. In the ninth station, Jesus falls the third time. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world.
as we see the Lord lying on the ground. We are once again made aware of what we have done, all the sins that we have committed willingly, all that we have consented to, all that we have done, knowing that the Lord was looking upon us and hurting. God, Lord, that we may not only not offend you again, but impede others from doing the same, and be a source of salvation to many, many souls in our journey on the earth, especially to those who are lying in the pit of sin and far away from you. Give us a word to touch them and heal them and draw them out of their hidden suffering which you and the angels see full well and penetrate with your gaze from on high. station, Jesus is despoiled of his garments. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Lord Jesus, you did not cling to the glory which was yours while on earth. Teach us to do the same, and to be willing to despoil ourselves of all that masks and hides us, all that keeps us from being what we are, all the illusion that we fabricate, all the insistence that we have upon our own empty glory, that we may look only upwards for glory and consolation, and be willing to be stripped of what apparently is our due, for little due we have, given that all that we have is yours and yours alone, given to us only on loan. Make me feel as thou hast failed, make my soul to glow and melt. Will the love of Christ my Lord. In the lamp station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. It was our sins that pierced these sacred limbs. He was wounded for our iniquity. Grant, Lord Jesus, that we may be aware of your pain not only on Calvary, but on the Calvary of the centuries, where mankind crucifies you anew. Grant that we may be amongst your friends at the foot of the cross, consoling you always, and keeping you company at the foot of the altar with the angels, and making reparation for those sins which, here on the altar especially, crucify you anew. For you are God, and you are nailed every day, by our sins. We pierce you, Lord, and we hardly think of the pain. Holy Mother, pierce me through, in my heart each wound renew, on my Saviour crucified. In the twelfth station, after three hours of agony, Jesus dies on the cross. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. It is accomplished. With these words, you open again the doors of heaven the gates of paradise sealed by original sin. And you are then to give the trophies of redemption to Adam 
showing the sacred wounds that have conquered Paradise and calling him forth. Awake, O sleeper, and rise from the dead. Lord Jesus, this too is our victory. One day we will have to say at the end of our time on earth, it is accomplished, but we only have one journey, one innings, one time, and eternity is long. Let me share with thee his pain, who for all my sins was slain, who for me in torments died. In the thirteenth station, we see the Lord taken down from the cross. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Once again the Blessed Virgin holds her child in her arms, this time at the other end of time and of life. We thank you for the tenderness of parents, and we commit them and entrust them to your own tenderness and care, and to that of the Blessed Virgin. We ask that we will extend that tenderness to all souls and bodies that we meet, and be those who transmit your own healing through the tenderness of our limbs and of our words to all those that your providence will send us from day to day and from hour to hour. Grant, good Lord, that we may heal and console, and console you in those that we are consoling. For we touch you as we touch the souls that you send us. Let me mingle tears with thee, mourning him who mourned for me, all the days that I may In the fourteenth station, Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Providence had prepared this tomb, which would remain forevermore, the centre of pilgrimage of devotion and indeed of powerful miracles. For on Holy Saturday, every Easter, this happens again, the shock of the resurrection, as the holy fire descends from heaven and ignites the Easter candle in the hands of the Patriarch of Jerusalem. A miracle ever old and ever new, reminding us of the newness of the shock of the resurrection, in which eternity burst into time and cracked it open, leaving free the road to paradise. By the cross with thee to stay, bear with thee to weep and pray. Is all I ask of thee to give? We ask that our blessed, lady, our blessed Lady will obtain for us the grace to be ever close to her Son, for we know from the intuitions and the visions given to Blessed Anne Catherine Emmerich that she was the first to make these stations of the cross and had constructed in Ephesus a little way of the cross which she would follow every day, retracing the bloodstains of Calvary that set us free and opened unto us the gates of paradise. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus Tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, 
et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostre. So we praise you, Lord Jesus, for conquering heaven, for overcoming Satan, and for granting us the grace of salvation and washing in the precious blood. Grant that we may not abuse this gift, but always follow faithfully in the steps of the divine will, until we hear your voice crying from Calvary but in glory. Well done, good and faithful servant. Enter into the joy of your Master. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom.